What is going on everyone? I am Nux Pro and welcome to this Escape from Tarkov quest guide. In this guide, I will show you how to complete a shooter born in heaven on the map shoreline. I'll have a playlist in the description. If you want to check out my videos on the other maps right now, we just have customs complete. It was a long video because I show you every single good spot on that map. This video will be a little different. Shoreline is a lot bigger than customs. There's probably a hundred different ways to get this uh, quest completed, but I'm going to show you the best spots. I'm going to show you an easy method getting kills off spawn. I'll show you how I completed the quest. And we will also talk about some point of interest spots that you want to take a look at as you're moving through the map to help you get this quest done. So we're not going to mess around. We're going to jump right into it. All right. So before we jump in game and show you the best spots, I want to show you an easy way to get this quest done. So I call it getting kills off spawn. So what do I mean getting kills off spawn? So the issue with shoreline is when everyone spawns in 85% of the map is going to the resort. So our purple arrows on this map, and it's a little outdated because I know there's a spawn here. There's a spawn here, but you're going to get the gist. So when everyone spawns in, they're all running to the resort. So here's this guy running. This guy's running here. This guy's running here. There's a spawn here as well. This guy's running here. These guys are running here. Whatever, you get the point. So for you who's trying to get your 100 meter headshot, say you're going to post up on this mountain here. Um, you're not going to be making a good use of your time because everyone's going to the resort and in the first 10 minutes, most of the lobby's dead or looting the resort. So no one likes sitting in a spot for 30 minutes, hoping to see somebody. Um, so a way you can negate that is by getting kills off spawn. So what do I mean by that is let me give you an example. And I have a clip to go along with it. So you spawn here, road to customs. Almost always somebody's going to spawn down here by scav tower. So let me show you a clip of me getting a hundred meter headshot in this um, scenario. So I spawned in road to customs. I looked down the road. I got lucky. Uh, most of the time you'll just see the person running or maybe they're running up this way, but I got lucky. He was just standing there checking a mag or pre medding. I don't know what he was doing and I got lucky vice versa. You spawn down here by scav tower. Even if it's like in this corner, come to the road, look up. You never know. You catch a guy who took a shit during load in or they went to get food. They might just be standing there. Get you an easy 100 meter headshot. Another example. You get to spawn up here. You know, everyone's favorite spawn to, to get to the resort first. Come up to the weapon house. This is a little hill or mountain. You have opportunities to get a 100 meter headshot on all these schmoes running up to the resort. So when when the maps are full of people during the day, there's a lot of PVP in this section and there's a lot of opportunity to get a hundred meter headshots here. So keep that in mind. Um, when you're moving through this area at the beginning of the game, say you spawn at crane, another scenario, if you can get up to weather station fast enough, you might be able to catch one or two people moving across to the resort. You can go pew, pew, pew. Same thing for this side if you get the village spawn if you can get up here you know past the cottages fast enough you can catch people moving across suicide fields here so the more you play shoreline the more you're going to learn the spawns and be able to anticipate where people are going to move but this is just an easy way to um get this quest done it's not going to happen every single time, but um, something to keep back in the back of your head at the beginning of a raid 
to uh, help you get this quest done. So now let's jump into game. All right, we are in game. We are at the scav tower indicated on the map at CCP extract. This is the road to custom extract. I am gonna split up the map into section one and section two. Road to custom side will be section one. Uh, tunnel side will be section two and there'll be some subsections in there. You know, there's a 1A in there and there's a, a 2A um, that you can see on the map. I will put all the timestamps to all the sections in the description so you can come back to this video and easily navigate it. So let's get started. So that's the scav tower. That's the road to customs spawn. I kind of went over this when we talked about killing people off spawn. If you spawn here, you know, check up there. The guy that uh, spawned Road to Customs, he could be looking for you or he could just be running across. Vice versa, you spawn over there, look down here. You can maybe get lucky like me. A guy's like, I don't know what he's doing, checking his mag or whatever, just standing here um, or running across. Um, great way to get a 100 meter headshot. I wouldn't say sit here at all. Maybe if you're at the end of the raid and you're coming down here to extract, um, not a good use of your time, way better spots. But you know, if you want to, you can, but um, this spot pretty much only works in the first like minute of a raid. Next spot is the weather station. So we're on the little weather station mountain and this is a pretty good spot in the beginning of the game. If you can get up here early, is you can catch people everywhere you know keep in mind some places might be far shots but pretty good spot you also have to keep in mind that there is some pvp at the beginning of the game here at the weather station there's a tetris spawn there's a safe you know rats like the safes so um good 100 meter headshot capabilities there um, that would be early game because that's probably the only time you're going to catch, you know, people running around there. I mean, if, if, if rock passage isn't open, you will catch people coming down, going to road to customs. But again, we're about maximizing time. We're not gonna, there's better places if you want to actually just sit around somewhere. And then this side of the weather station, uh, you know, first five minutes or so you'll catch people moving along here. Uh, people might be setting up to snipe down there. So you might be able to counter snipe. Um, but decent spot, but just keep in mind possible early PVP. And um, you know, this spot only works. Well, it works best uh, early raid. Okay, we're gonna call this whole section here on the map section one A or one alpha. So to keep in mind here on the bottom part of the map, you know, you always want to check over here. If you hear sniping down by here, uh, they're probably at the lighthouse here. So um, great opportunity to get a hundred meter headshot because they'll probably be stationary. Other than that, if you hear like fighting, you know, down here, uh, like, scav killing and stuff like that there's probably someone down here so you know you can use this whole side here to try to, to kill them uh, i'll post a clip of me getting a 100 meter headshot at this location all right so as you can see um you know i saw him looting a scav body or something I took a shot i missed him he then i moved into the building because i don't think he really knew where i was and i kind of just anticipated that he'd come into the window and we were able to take him out so keep that in mind uh even if you're passing by and you don't want to sit here because you don't think anyone's in 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 the pier area take a look in the windows because you can see people looting the safe in this window and you can see people looting the safe in this window. And if you can create enough distance, you can get a hundred meter headshot. 
So moving along to the rest of section one alpha here. So this whole area that runs along the, the water, you can get hundred meter headshots by shooting to the other side. This is the pretty common um, method of doing it. You know, you're, you're pretty much hoping that you're, you find snipers up there and you're killing them. Um, you're not going to find too many people just running along, um, that the water there. So a lot of this will be counter sniping. I like that side a lot better elevated, um, less vegetation. Definitely think, uh, to maximize your, um, chances to use a thermal on this side. But you can utilize this whole area here to try to get a hundred meter headshot on that side. You know, if you spawn on this side, you're kind of screwed. Um, this will be your best recourse taking this area here. Um, like you wouldn't be able to get to that side and you know what I mean? So hope you know what I meant. And you can use this little ledge here. This puts you at a little elevated position. Um, definitely helps try to get the hundred meter headshot and then you can kind of catch people over here. I'm going to show you, um, a spot over here that you can possibly counter snipe. It will be a long shot, but Hey man, it's an opportunity. All right. Last spot I'm going to show you is on top of the resort on West wing side, East side pretty much sucks. Um, West side, pretty good. Um, you can catch people. You know, leaving the resort, moseying their way down uh, to the power station here. You can catch people super far, damn fog. Um, you know, maybe they're making their way to the gas station. If you can get up here early game, you know, you can catch people on this side coming up to the resort. So not my favorite spot. I know a lot of people use it. But, um, and I don't like being up here shooting because, because, because Charlie, the Chad is gonna, gonna come up the stairs and try to kill you. But, um, it is a good spot. All right. That's it for section one. We're now moving on to section two. That is the tunnel extract. This is Scav Island. So this will be spot number one. And this is one of those points of interest spots I was talking about. Now, not a lot of people go on to Scav Island, but if they do, there's only one way out and this gives you a great opportunity to get a hundred meter headshot. Um, like I said, it's not a spot that you would sit here all game and wait, but there's a quest over there and sometimes people like to loot down there. So if you're passing by, maybe at the end of the raid to go to tunnel, just take a look. You never know. You might find someone and get your uh, hundred meter headshot opportunity. Again, I wouldn't sit there and wait just as you're passing by. I would check that spot. All right. Spot number two of section two. Um, I don't know what to call this. We can call it the shoreline spine, but this little little rock formation is very underrated. So I'm talking about this one here and this one right here. So you have so much opportunity to get a hundred meter headshot. You know, the only issue is waiting for a player to come by. Um, this one, this right here, pretty tough. Um, you might be waiting a long time. So I would highly recommend if you are to utilize this spot, is to come right over here. So people don't realize hundred meters isn't, you know, that much, um, you know, it's a, a person that doesn't play this game a lot might think from like here to there isn't a hundred meters, but it is, I'm going to show you a clip of me getting two back to back hundred meter headshots at this location.
you know, it, it, it's pretty particular if you're if you're going to get somebody. You're really hoping that the people from the resort are going to be coming down the the water that separates the map in the middle and that they're going to go to the power station and kill scavs. So it is kind of a particular spot. So, you know, it's hit or miss if you really want to sit here. Mid-game people travel through here, but this is definitely a pretty good spot. All right, so we're going to call this whole section here on the map Section 2A, 2 Alpha, you know, whatever you want to call it. But here in Section 2A is a great, 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 probably the best area you can um, get this quest complete. There's so much, there's so many spots that you can get this done. So um, let's start like here, uh, this little mound here, you can catch a lot of people on this little mound here, uh, trying to kill the scavs in the power station. So you got that. You also can catch people coming down from the resort. I, I find people, especially at night, I got my thermal on coming down here after they loot the resort, thinking they're safe cause it's night and I've been able to bang. Bang, you know, so it's a great opportunity. Now remember they are elevated there, so you're gonna have to uh, aim a little higher. I've gotten a lot of thorax shots because um, you know, I wasn't aiming high enough. So keep that in mind. You have this whole area here to catch players, you know, moving up toward the resort. You also have the ability to counter snipe. So a lot of people, if they spawn on that side, they're gonna sit on that side and try to snipe over here. You have a lot more cover over here. And if you got a thermal, makes it very easy to get a 100 meter headshot. Now moving down here, you know, you can get, um, get lines of sight on the same spots over here. Um, if you want to create more distance for a longer shot. But same thing over here. You're trying to catch people over here. Last wipe, um, there was a guy like by that rock and he was like, you know, sniping or whatever. And I was able to take him out. That was one of my hundred meter headshots. Last wipe. You can also um, cover the pier here. So you want to create as much distance as possible. There is a quest. Fog's got me messed up, but there's a quest right here. So if you can create enough distance, um, you can get a hundred meter headshot there. You also can get a good line of sight down uh, through the pier. So there we are. Um, there's only one way off of the pier and it's, you know, on this road, you know, they can, or they can, you know, go across on the side of this uh, bridge or whatever it is. But 100 meter headshot capabilities over here. Really, really good spot. Section 2A, we're calling it. I want to know anytime you cross this road in Section 2, take a look down the road and see if somebody's uh, there. Uh, if you're rocking a thermal, you know, you might pick up somebody you normally wouldn't see, but you know, if you're coming down this way to the pier, just take a look down. You might catch someone running this way or, you know, weird stuff happens. So this will be the last spot for section two, last spot for the video. Right here, they call it the lighthouse here at the pier. Great, great opportunity to get a hundred meter headshot. You can see a lot of the southern part of the map. You can see, you know, along the road here. You can see people there close to the to the middle map where the body of water runs through. You can see people over there by CCP. I mean, the, the opportunity is endless. The only issue is very exposed. Um, a lot of people don't look over here, so you have that going for you. But I think most good players like take a peek over here. And if you get caught over here, you're kind of, 
you kind of fucked. Uh, you got a. You only got one exit, and um, you know it, it could it could get difficult. So, um, you know if you are compromised, you're gonna have a tough time getting out. But you're just trying to get a hundred meter headshot. Keep in mind, a lot of these are far shots. It's it's probably about two hundred meters to just that rock. So, um, keep in mind they are far shots. Uh, you're gonna have to be pretty pretty decent with a sniper rifle to get some of these shots like over there looking at 400 meter headshots so um keep that in mind but that'll be the last spot so i hope this video helped remember i was giving you the best spots for this map and a few point of interest locations remember really easy way to get this done is off the spawn uh, the more you play the map the easier that will be if this video helped please leave a like it really helps with the youtube algorithm but um i hope i will see you in the next video subscribe more escape from tarkov videos coming